hello, hello. God bless, God bless. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless. All right, I have messages for the chosen, specifically for the chosen. Let's jump into prayer, and I will give you what I have received. Now, O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, console me. Tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So this is for a chosen one. And chosen one, your message is that you're not going to get any more instructions from God until you do what he has instructed you to do to include this all right for me it's this now here's another example of it i just gonna give it to you i had a vision yesterday i had a vision of one of the kids that i watch and i kept having this vision of him with my keys and i was like well who cares or you know it's he's not driving my car they're just keys and then God kept putting this video in front of me normally when you click on like a, a notification right on the phone it'll go away but it kept pinging like I never touched it for like a few hours and then I finally took it to prayer I was like God what what are you trying to show me if God put it in front of you it's for a reason but for a few hours and what was the video it was it was like one of my memories and it was my son um i took you have to understand that my whole life is almost recorded <laughs> all of almost like the past 10 15 years if i have a phone if i've had a camera it's recorded it really is so i have you know i'm recording me and my daughter our moment together and then my you know i, I dismiss my daughter and i say okay bye go play and my son comes in out of left left field and i say where'd you come from he says I was outside what were you doing outside oh I, I was in the car what do you mean you were in the car I went in the truck like you know it's it's um it's all you know it's a it's a child right he's he, I know it's a nice car but it's not a toy and, and that was the vision hey your kiddo make sure he doesn't play with the keys um, I know we, we tell the kids that, you know, toys are, like, keys are toys and blah, blah, but if you're keeping a car in the garage, this isn't a joke anymore. Like, this is a warning from God. This is a warning from God. Do not let your kid play with the keys, um, especially since these cars turn on by themselves. And then, boom, once I gave that message, I got a response, and that response gave me my next location instruction. That's how that works. I was obedient to the spirit to give the warning, to give the message. And then I received my next instruction. Amen. Now, I don't know why I have to say this, but I, it's coming through so strong. That movie Insidious, if you haven't seen the movie Insidious, it's a horror film. It's a film where people, I guess, astro project out of their bodies, right? The kid wakes up out of his body and he can roam around in the spirit. Now, with that being said, with that being said, it's real. I can do it. I don't choose when it happens. I will tell you though, I have a guardian angel. How can I tell it happens? There's rules to that. When you wake up like that, you see your body, number one, you think you're dead. Number two, you don't really realize you're dead until you can't do certain things that you're used to doing. Here's an example. Juani eats in her sleep. I eat in my sleep. Sleep eating, I don't, it's not good for your teeth. I don't know why I do it. I eat in my sleep. Usually I keep a, a pizza box. I keep a pizza box and it doesn't matter just leave it on the counter leave it on the stove top when you wake up you come out of your body I go downstairs and I go try to try to grab a slice of pizza I can't grab it because I'm in the spirit <sighs> or I try to grab water from the fridge I can't even open the fridge that's how I know it's happening now there's a rule to that never leave your home 
whatever you deem your space, you never leave your home. Once there's a lock on the door, you never leave that bitch. I don't know who this is for. It's like someone's astral projecting. You never leave your home in the spirit. All right? That's your dominion. That's your safe space. It's real. That insidious movie is real. All right? I don't I don't even get to choose when it happens. Now, there are times when I astral project like that or it's not even astral projecting. I don't get to choose when I come out of my body like that. I can tell when it happens because I can't hold the food. I can't I can't open the Domino's pizza box. I see it, but I can't open it. I can't get water from the fridge. At that point, it's annoying. All right. Go back to my body and I can see my chest rising and falling. All right. I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm alive. Wake up, Joanny. Joanny, wake up. Sometimes I sat next to my body just like watching myself sleep for hours till I wake up. It's so weird because I either wake up, sometimes I wake up really hungry or I wake up like, dang, I didn't get to sleep at all. Why? Because my spirit is still moving. I don't get rest. I don't know who that's for and why I have to say it to you. Uh, chosen one, your next message it's true that that Satan will come with counterfeits. Um, God already warned me that I'm not meant to be with someone who's not a believer. And why is that? Because this person is going to say you're this person is not going to understand the authority you have in this world because you're not from this world, but you have inherited this world and, and you reign in another realm. That is, it's a hierarchy system. It's higher than this realm. I was like, God, why? And it's true, Satan will come in with a counterfeit. And this person's going to seem like an ideal candidate, but they don't believe. They don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe in God. And to me personally, I'm like, God, what the fuck does it matter? What does it matter? Because they'll be the first ones to jump to some satanic BS. Right, because they're operating in the flesh. They're operating in the realm that they can see in, right? But if I can see another realm, if I can experience another realm, they're not gonna get it. To the point where I've had some people call me schizophrenic. I'm not schizophrenic, I've met the king. I have met Jesus, I can see him, I can see my angels. Every tongue will confess and every knee will bow down that he is king. And guess what, for you, if you're listening to this, whenever you hear it, and if you don't believe, one day you're gonna be like, one day when when you're at the when you're at the throne of God, waiting to get into heaven, and he's like, you rejected you you rejected my the fact that I'm king. You rejected. He's like, he's gonna play this right here for you. Remember that? Remember that? Your that your screen. It's gonna play right here. Remember that time that Joanne told you that there's a whole other realm and that all of this is real and that I'm the one orchestrating it behind the scenes for you, but you refuse to believe. Remember that? Remember when I sent Juani? And then even with my grace, Juani, Juani was, was top tier, the one that I sent. She was the one who clear. I revealed myself to her. And she told you nothing but the truth. And yet you still denied her and called her schizophrenic. You still denied her and you called her something else. But I revealed myself to her. She was my messenger. She was the angel that I chose to tell you that I'm here, that I am king, that I am the one behind all of this, that there is no other power besides me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's going to play this for you. He's going to play this exact interaction for you. And then out of the grace and mercy, he's going to send maybe just one last person that is not Joanne, if you don't believe. One last person. Because he is a God of second chances. But he's not a God of too many chances, that's for sure. I don't know who that's for. But personally, I ask God, like, God, what does it matter if they believe or not? Because you have no idea. You have no idea that if, if they're going to try to break down your spirit. For every time they don't believe, they're going to try to project that on you. They're not chosen. They're not going to understand how to receive their next instruction. They're thinking that it's by their own strength and by their own will. And then when you exceed that of their strength, they're, they're, they're dismayed. 
because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And sometimes that's how you shut that's how you shut the mouth of of a, of a lukewarm Christian. How did you do this? How did you do that? I don't have to explain shit to you. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh well, well yeah, well yeah, yeah exactly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> one day, one day. So understand that I don't I don't understand why God does that. Like why God God. Why why do you care? Why do you care if they believe or not? Like why what what is it to me? What is it what is it to me? Sorry. I dropped I always have something in my hand. I always need something in my hands. God, what, what is it what is it to, to what is it to if 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 they believe or not, what is it to me? Why how, why is that my problem? If you're God, it should be your problem. <laughs> yeah, but I chose you. That's exactly how he works. All right, I got John five twenty four. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. And it, it makes sense. All of this made sense. Why do I keep seeing the time when I kept astral projecting out of my body death I thought I died I was like ah am I dead no my chest is rising and falling now nah, I'm sleeping peacefully so why can't I wake up you know the first time the first time that happened the first time that happened to me I was I was like 16 17 when it happened and I personally just thought, I personally just thought that I, I was drunk, that I was wasted, and that I died. I was like, I died of alcohol poisoning at 17. Wow. My parents are going to be so upset. <laughs> That's all I thought. And then it happened again when I was 18, more frequently. And then it happened, it kept happening when I was tw in my 20s. It kept happening in my 20s all the time. And now I ask God, like now I know it's, that it's God the one who controls that. If you have that gift and you don't like it, it it's that, that's all God. You got to tell him. You got to tell him to stop, to cut that shit out. <laughs> uh, you have to have a relationship with him. I tell him, I don't want to dream. I don't want to dream. I don't want to astral project. I want peace. I want sleep. All right? Um, so it makes sense. That all of this made sense. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me had everlasting life. God sent me to you to tell you the afterlife is real. There's something more after this. There's heaven and hell. All right? And shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Now, we're going to continue on. Because that's just, that's what God gave me. So, verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. I can hear him. Sometimes it makes me feel like I'm dead, but I'm alive in Christ. I always say I'm alive in Christ. And other people who can hear God, you had to die to be able to hear that. All right? There's not many of us, but there is many of us. The only way you meet another one is if you follow instruction from God. It's obedience to the Holy Spirit. Multiple gifts, the same Spirit. That's how powerful that 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 kingdom is we're, we're all working in under the same accord to build up the same kingdom i can't lead you astray i can only tell you the truth amen <sighs> okay for as the father hath life in himself so hath he given to the son to have life in himself and hath given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the son of man marvel not at this for the hour is coming 
in the which all that the all the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation i can of my own self doing i can of my own self do nothing as i hear i judge and my judgment is just because i seek not my own will but the will of the father which hath sent me if i bear witness of myself my witness is not true there is another that beareth witness of me i know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true yet sent unto john and he bear witness unto the truth i told you that i saw jesus that's the truth i'm not a liar i'm I, I'm not lying to you. He's king. He sits on a throne. He's huge. He's like Jack and the Beanstalk. I can't lie to you. I'm telling you the truth. And some people still choose to call me schizophrenic. You don't believe. Some people still choose to say I'm crazy. You don't believe. But one day, your day will come. Remember Joanne? Joanne who... Who is righteous in, in all her ways. Joani who Joani, Joani who has kept her integrity since the beginning of time. Hallelujah. Remember that? Remember this very exact moment? When she told you that I would be judging you? And here's the thing about recording everything in my life. Sometimes before I found, like before I knew that God was actually listening and watching, he's witness. Before that, sorry. Before that. Sometimes I would just speak, and you can see YouTubers who just talk into the camera, and they don't they don't speak with, with authority. They're not speaking to anyone. They're just speaking out to see if anyone hears them. God is listening, but you need to you need to understand and hear that. It sometimes it's very sad. Like yo, who are you talking to? Damn, that looks lonely as fuck. Not anymore. Now I got the Holy Spirit. Now I know that my heavenly Father is watching. Hallelujah. Now I know that there's everlasting life. And people in a different realm that follow me, who look for me, I have to look for them too. That's my testimony. My testimony is that Jesus Christ is King. That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that there is another power above Jesus, which is God. Father God. And it's insane. Jesus is like we're all gold, but he's he's like he's not even gold. He's just pure light. He's pure light. That's the only way. Like we're gold. We were all gold. We were all gold and we were all different. But we were gold. And he was, he was just light. He was just pure light. That's my testimony. Search the scriptures, for in, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not love, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe, which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you even Moses in whom ye trust for had ye believed Moses ye would have believed me for he wrote of me but if ye believe not in his writings how shall ye believe my words right because Moses received the revelations of Jesus Moses received instruction from Jesus from the beginning of time from the Holy One that sits on the throne all right, that's the scripture that I got. Is there anything else?
This is for a chosen one. To receive instruction, you have to be obedient. Sometimes, like, God, what's next? God, where do I go next? God, what do I do? And yesterday, it was so it was so weird. I gave I gave the message. I gave the warning. I'm scared that this is gonna fall on the kiddo. I need to to bolt down the furniture. Oh, they're called furniture anchors. Boom! I send the message out, and all of a sudden, I get an invitation. Come to karaoke at the anchor lounge. What the? F God, you're fun. All right, let's go. And then I was like, I'm here for a reason. The spirit sent me here for a reason. And then this one guy, he sings a song. He sings a song that he wants God to hear his prayer. You guys know I don't listen to, to any, like, uh, I listen to mainstream music, but I don't watch TV. I just follow the signs. And then, boom, I say, hey, your song. God sent me here for a reason. What's your prayer? He told me. I said, all right, I'll go pray it to God. And I didn't tell this person that the prayer needs an offering. But I kind of wanted to test something out myself. And I was like, you know what? If I'm really an intercessor, let me let me go into prayer without an offering and see. And God blessed it. I saw his hand again. I saw him today. And then on top of that, right after that, he sent the spirit of peace. That's what this next part is about. This is, and I'm closing out after this. God sent the spirit of peace. And he sent it. I told you I don't like dreaming. Dreaming is a very, very uh, intense realm. It's a realm of infinite possibilities. That shit's like a Dr. Seuss book on drugs. <laughs> Trippy as can be. I want nothing to do with it. Um, I'm very practical. I like real life solutions. I like wisdom. I like understanding. I don't have time for none of this fucking nonsense. Alright? And this is none this is this is real. This shit is not nonsense. The queen is real, right? Mother Mary's real. Jesus is real. All of this is real. With that being said, he gave me the spirit of peace this morning. And he sent an angel. And normally I wake up at 5 o'clock. I put an alarm for 5 o'clock. And I prayed. And I was like, God. I prayed last night and then I prayed this morning. And then he received it this morning. And then as I went back to sleep, I had another, another 10 minutes, God. Please, just another 10 minutes. Boom. The spirit of peace came in. I got my messages. The message was, he sent an angel in the physical. It was the weirdest thing. He played a whole video for me. My phone was off. I didn't, I'm not connected to the internet. Um, and then all of a sudden, it was just like playing. And it was like different angels, but they were all like pieces of messages. And they all came through. And the message was, you're going to have some serious washed up bitches. And the worst part is that these people are going to be very religious. So when you are chosen and you're not walking in that religious spirit, you're going to receive the most persecution. Be ready for it. Be ready for it because their idea of holy, they cannot let go of what their idea of holy is. They're trying to hold you accountable. Number one, for their shortcomings. All right. That's, that's a warning for someone. That's a warning for me. The spirit of peace is coming to tell me. They're going to hold you accountable for their shortcomings, for everything they couldn't do, for everything they're not willing to do. They're going to hold you accountable for it. What does that look like? Oh, well, if it wasn't for you, oh, well, you got it this way. The fuck you mean? I came, I, I came from nothing. I came from nothing. I came from Section 8 projects. I went to school. I have two kids. Not only that, I have... I have an autistic one at that. I have every odd stacked against me and some. I don't come from money. I had to scrape everything I've ever gotten. They're, everyone's going to blame you. They're going to have some kind of excuse. And on top of that, I don't, I don't even have a supportive family. On top of that, I've had two very, very toxic, 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 narcissistic, abusive relationships. I just kept my head in the books. That was my outlet. I don't want trouble. I just want peace. I just want to be left alone. 
they're going to they're going to hold you accountable for everything that they fell short of all right that's that's god's warning me they're going to persecute you they're going to look for perfection in you because they have that religious spirit of holy on them yeah that's how i can tell your spirit isn't holy because you don't accept one another you can't even accept your own shortcomings try to put it on someone else to make you feel better fuck out of here and as you're walking into this new strength the spirit of peace is telling me you're gonna have a lot of haters um there's a lot of disrespect that is also coming through uh silent haters too that was the word the silent haters the the ones who are seeking to destroy you the ones that saw you cry on camera the ones who the ones who have more information about my kids my kids were kidnapped Actually, a video played the other day. The first uh, attempt of, of kidnapping happened a few years ago, and I got it on camera. And I was able to stop because they were going to take my kids. It's literally it's literally in the court paperwork. And I was like, wow, God, you were warning me a long time ago that they were going to kidnap them. They were planning to kidnap them a long time ago. And they succeeded this time around. God is saying, you're going to have a lot of people hate you. There's people who are trying, who, who know more about your kids, who are playing, they're, they're very two-faced. They're very, very two-faced about it. They know, Juani, that you're great. They know, Juani, that you, that you went to school to be a doctor. They know, Juani, that you work so fucking hard, but because they fell short and they see their laziness. That's what happens when you compare. Well, yeah, you, why, why would you have passion for something or a drive? Why would you wake up to go do something you're not passionate about? It's going to seem like torture for you. But when you love it, like, nah, nah, I need to help these kids. Nah, I need to learn this because it's going to help someone one day. Yeah, I'm going to wake up early. Yeah, I'm not going to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to be on Adderall for three days. I don't give a fuck. You're going to have so many haters. People people who actually know stuff about your situation that would give you peace, Joani. But because they see you, Joani, especially now that you're coming out of it, they're not going to tell you. There's, there's Vindiola. Fuck you, Vindiola. In Jesus' name. That's a two-faced friend right there. How are you going to be friends with my ex, know more about my kids, knowing that I'm crying on the screen for them and you're not telling me shit? That's an enemy. God, God is warning me right now. He, he sent an angel yesterday, the spirit of peace. I'm telling you what's about to happen so you can have peace. There's people who know more about your situation and they refuse to tell you anything because they hate you. They don't like you. They don't like your drive. They don't like what I'm putting in you. They don't like the fact that I chose you. They don't like the fact that you can. You don't even need to go to church and I'm with you, Joani, because I suffered for it. They don't understand how, how you guys came from similar, even similar circumstances, but it's not the same circumstance. Don't ever compare your pain to mine. Oh, well, I joined the military too, and, and I served longer than you. And blah, blah. Yeah, but you did not suffer what I suffered. You don't have favor the way I have favor. You don't, you, that's the thing about serving. You don't serve others the way I serve them. I serve you wholeheartedly. I tell you the truth 100%. I'll give you a hug and I'll tell you, dang, I really feel for you. Yesterday I sang a song so beautifully. This woman is like, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm amazed. Yeah, I bet it was healing to your soul, cause you have an attachment there. How about a hug? You need a hug? Did I want to hug her? Not really, no. But did she need a hug in that moment? Yeah. So I gave her a fucking hug. You see what I mean? Like what it means to serve someone else, just, just for a moment, just to ease their soul. Ah, oh, but you don't work in that realm. There's going to be people who, who really, really despise you. Be very careful. And that's the spirit of peace coming to tell you that. That's the spirit of peace telling you what's about to come so that when it happens, you're not in shock. When, when it happens and, and all these people come out of the woodworks who are watching you in, in, this, in this struggle, in this pain, in this commotion, in, in this uh, persecution, they did nothing. And now you want to come around and even say hi fuck you don't be afraid to give a fuck you um the other thing was when someone says you better go find jesus understand even for me that jesus is not working through you at that moment you better find jesus jesus isn't there because i say i find myself saying it all the time <laughs> you better go find jesus i mean i i even have to find jesus even i have to look for him in the spirit if someone says that to you, oh, we need Jesus. We better find Jesus is not there. Jesus is not present. 
Why is that? He's not, you're not willing to be a vessel for him. He's not working through you in that moment. And that's the thing. I can't keep the spirit of Christ with me all the time. It's like a football. I've said it before. The spirit of Christ is like a football. We cannot hold on to it for too long. We will be fucking killed. This is exactly why I can't be holy all the time. I need to be sinner Joani. If I was to be the holy lamb, it's too much for this world. They couldn't handle it the first time around. What makes you think they're going to be able to handle it the second time around? The chosen one. The spirit of Christ is like a football. You can't be in that state all the time. You have to understand that there are forces, right? I just said it's a whole other realm that is actually much stronger than this one. And it will manifest and it will kill you. That's just the truth of it. So understand that the spirit of Christ does enter through me. This Holy Spirit will speak. I will be in, in divine alignment with you at one very, very moment. This is exactly why I don't open the Bible anymore. I know where I can open it and then I run. I have to go. That's how powerful the Bible is. You can't keep it forever. But the spirit of peace is coming. It came and told me those things. You're going to have a lot of washed up bitches. Especially as you get older. Specifically the word was washed up. What the fuck does that look like? It looks like people who let themselves go. It looks like people who had who never had any intention of taking care of themselves. It's one thing like, hey, I'm working. I don't have time to take care of myself. That happens as a medical student. Yeah, I was, this semester was tough. I had 22 credits. That's double, that's what, 12 and 12, 24? That's close to double full time. Double full time in the lab and you mean to tell me that I have time to do my hair, my nails? No. No. And I'm teaching part time and I have two kids. You, it's like a... <sighs> People who don't intend, like, you, you're telling me that that you had extra time but you refused to take care of yourself and now you're coming at me because I do have that extra time? You're going to have some serious washed up bitches come up against you, right? And sometimes even taking care of yourself is work. I need to let you know that too. Holy Spirit yesterday said, get pretty. So I did my hair and my makeup. I was like, all right, where are we going? I didn't know where I was going. But later I found out as long as you're obedient to the spirit, but you're going to have a lot of washed up bitches from your past that let themselves go without excuse. They want what you got. That's also called covetting. That's also that's also breaking one of your commandments. To covet what is your neighbor's. To want something that's not yours. To include that spiritual abundance. To include your... I don't know, just the way you carry yourself, right? Um, so that, that, that was also a very, very real warning. Why is God telling you this now? The spirit of peace came in. He said it so peacefully. I'm saying it so rude. Because I'm all fired up about it. Because I'm ready to like knock some bitches out. Because I'm ready to just... I'm ready to start blocking everybody. Not everyone. I'm just ready to start blocking a lot of people who... Who... Really just saw me as so much less. Who were proud to see my affliction. That was the word. The spirit of peace. Sometimes these fake Christians... This is a very, very real word right now. Some of these fake Christians say, Oh, the spirit of peace is... Um, abundance joy blah 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 right the fruits of the spirit uh but it also says that the spirit is long suffering a real christian can say you're great the spirit of peace is under affliction right now because you're great someone who isn't a real christian who is a false christian who's like oh well it's not joy it's not peace it's not happiness so it's this must not be it you're a fake christian you have no idea that the spirit's under attack right in front of you. And they're going to start to see when you start coming out of the long suffering. When you start coming out of the long suffering and you start being you and just not giving a fuck anymore. You can, there's nothing you could say that could ever hurt me the way I have already died. There is nothing you could say to persecute me the way that, that the lies have taken a toll on my life. There is nothing you could say or do against me at this point. That literally is just like, God, did you do this? No, it's an enemy. All right, cool. No mercy for an enemy of God. And it's going to fall back on your head a hundredfold in Jesus' name. You're going to reap what you sow. To the point where you're not going to be able to find God. God said, I said it yesterday, you can't sit with us. 
chosen one. They're not going to be able to sit with you. They're not going to be able to talk to you. They're not going to be able to find the peace and, and the understanding because they, they sowed bad seeds. Because they were false Christians this whole time. Because they casted judgments that were never true. They don't know shit about the spirit. And you're sitting there saying you're, you're a believer. What if I, I, I told you I'm chosen? I told you I saw the king. I told you he revealed himself to me. Oh, well, then why are you going through all of this? Because that's the truth of what happens when you're chosen. It's easier for the devil to take someone and, and afflict them. And that's also a test of God. That's also a test from God. Look at you judging someone. You don't even know how great they are. I heard God say this to me. I despise making you so great. 